miles from the nearest village. The only thing we're getting close to is running out of fuel and walking back. searching this godforsaken jungle and never find a damn thing except spider monkeys and malaria. Maybe some things are just better off lost. Whoa. Ah, uh, just a thermal. Nothing to worry about. Bob, I don't think we're alone. Bob, we got to get out of here. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. jump team is about to go wheels up. Pass me through. All right. This up. Satellite imaging has located the rebel base. Now, the rebels are being controlled by none other than Gustavo Marquez. You know what kind of sick bastard he is, so I don't have to go into detail, but he's got lots of boots on the ground, some heavy firepower, so don't get spotted. On top of that, we don't have permission from the Valverde government to be in country, so if this mission gets pear-shaped, you're up the Amazon without a paddle. 
or a boat. This job just gets better by the minute. Oh, what's the matter, Tank? You afraid of getting your shorts a little wet? Well, as long as you're here to yank my court chief. That's still the chatter. Your primary objective is Dr. Angelus Banes, biochemist. She was abducted several months ago from an international conference on bioweapons. Our intel has it that Marquez has forced her to create some kind of hybrid biochemical agent that's dispersible by missile. What kind of chemicals are we talking about, boss? We won't know that for sure until we breach the camp. Fortunately, we've had a man on the inside the last couple of years. He's been working his way up through the ranks, gaining Marquez's trust by selling him intel and weapons. He's gonna help you out. If everything goes as planned, you'll take out the missile, take out Marquez, save the girl, and get home safe. And if you fail, I have orders to level the entire area. I'm talking bombing that place completely out of existence. Am I clear? Everybody got that? The mission is to go. Yeah, boss. boss. Good. You know what to do. Get the job done, die trying. Colonel Carter out. I'm jumping fine. The mission is the girl. We've been after Marquez for years. I know what nailing that son of a bitch would mean to you. Am I right to be concerned? Chief, your mission is the girl. Yes, sir. To be kidding me. One 
all alone. You owe me. I'll owe you all night long. Really? I took you more for a five minute kind of guy. Stakey squad, what's their status? Well, looks like they're taking heavy fire, sir. So much for not being seen. They find the girl yet? Unknown, but we may have a bigger problem, Colonel. Did they fire the missile off? Negative, but it looks like it detonated. Chemical agent may have been released. Good God. If that's true, we need to glass that entire area before it gets out. Not until my men are clear. Colonel, your men are probably infected already. You have no way of knowing that. Is that a risk that you are willing to take? You're damn right it's a risk I'm prepared to take. Nothing happens until my men are clear of that zone. Yeah, well, they're doing a real good job, aren't they? Lose a gun, not lose your life. Been a while. I knew I would see you again. Can you walk? Yes, thank you. Thank you when I get you out of here. On the radio, Sergeant. Let's get out of here. Good. Hello, zero. Hello, zero. This is six one. Mission complete. Mission complete. Require immediate evac to this location. Sir, I've got contact. Hold this position, Sergeant. We're low on ammo, boss. Make them count. All right, scramble the chopper. Bring him home. LZ coordinates. Colonel. You can't send more troops into a contagion hot zone. Land them right there. This is HQ. Proceed to grade 11, 13 for evac. 6 1, wait, I. How far? 
Four clicks. Four clicks, my ass, into the radio. Zero, this is six actual request. Immediate pickup this location. Over. It's too hot. Actual, this is HQ request denied. Your position is severely compromised. Just bring the bird down on this location immediately. Out. He's terminated communication. OK. All right, send the chopper in, bring him back. That's it. If that chemical agent gets out, it's your funeral, Colonel. Let's go. Smashing ground. What about our operative? Didn't make it. <laughs> What's so funny? I waited patiently two years to cut that gringo's throat, to see him bleeding like a pig. You sick son of a... Sergeant! Leave it. I'll tell you what we ought to do. We should take him up 35,000 feet and drop him without a shoot. He's 50 below for three minutes, and without the proper O2 mix, he would decompress. If he ain't dead by the time he hit the ground, he'll wish he was. Got all the weapon smile off his face. Go ahead and do it! Tank. He'll get his. Where the hell they go? They crashed and burned, Colonel. Just like the rest of this operation. They're off the grid, sir. We lost all contact. Not even their locator beacon. No, that's not right. A down chopper doesn't just disappear. Find them. On it, sir. Where is he? Oh, Chin. I'm tight. Oh, I've got you, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Let's try to get you up, okay? No. Ah, wait. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. <coughs> let's go. Get everyone away from the wreck. Protect the girl. But you're going off mission. That's right. Everyone out! This plane's unstable, everyone out! Move, let's go. You're the chief. Corporal, grab Felix. Felix is gone, chief! Hudson and Dillinger must have fallen somewhere. Listen, I think that's the smoke from the chopper. What I'll do is I'll go oh. see if I can get some help, yeah? Hurry. I'll be back free now, okay? Stay there. <sighs> Edwards, Neymar? They're gone. So we're not flying out of here? And what was your first clue? perimeter. Sarge, check for comms. Sergeant, I need you here. Searching for survivors. Right. We should get the hell out of here. Sooner rather than later, I think. Come on. I need to call my superiors in Washington. 
They need to be apprised of the situation. The situation is under control. Under control, Colonel. You've got a team that's lost. You don't even know if they made their objective. All we do know is the chemical agent is loose. We don't know that. That chemical agent could have been destroyed in the blast. Oh, no, no. Huh. I'm gonna have to bring down the hammer. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, what that means is that I'm going to authorize a massive tactical strike on that area. It's time to bring down the rain and wash Marquez off the map. That is not your call. That's my call. This is my mission. Colonel, all you have is a major screw-up and probably a court-martial. Oh, but don't worry. I'll say nice things about you. I'm giving Stakely more time. Every second that you delay puts a million lives in jeopardy. They are hundreds of miles from the nearest town or village. 48 hours. That's what I need. No. No, you don't get 48 hours. You get 24 hours and not one minute more. If that weapon gets out, that blood is on your hands, Colonel. And your little court-martial, oh, that will be the least of your worries. Move. Hello, Zero. Hello, Zero. This is 163. Over. Hello, Zero. Felix Edwards and Neumeyer are dead. Hudson Dillinger, MIA. Rico, Flores, come back with nothing but dog tags. No doubt what they deserve. How's Potter? You live. Wait. Sit down. If anyone's going to kill him, it's me. <laughs> Keep your eye on your knife. How's come, Sergeant? Sat phone's fried. Static on the radio. Not getting nothing in this dense jungle. Well, keep trying, right? Tank. Keep it on him. Pleasure. What's it looking, like, Chief? I guess as we landed four or five clicks away from the village, which gives us a general radius of this. Shouldn't we just sit put, wait for a pickup? We're not even supposed to be here. You know they're not sending a search party. If we're lucky, they may have scrambled a couple of helicopters, maybe a UAV, looking down through this canopy, down here, wherever here is. Well, we've got no air support, we've got no radios, and the nearest vehicle's probably 100 miles back in the village. Yes, Angeles. Captain. Stakely. Maybe you have an explanation for this. Most of the plants here are unrecognizable and the air is thicker. I don't know about you, but I've never experienced anything like that before. And what would make you the environmental expert? I'm a chemical biologist. You're not buying any of this, are you, boss? Does it really matter, does it, Tank? Because we're not going to be here long enough to find out. Chief? Let's move out in five. Yes, sir.
When I said carry everything you could, did you really feel it necessary to bring another RPG? How was you think you're gonna bump into a tank in the jungle? It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's what I said about my ex-boyfriend. Oh, Chief. I'll give him something to think about. Maybe a gorilla? You know, whatever did this has two feet, three claws, and moves pretty darn fast. Maybe he killed him with his hands tied and no weapon tank. Maybe it was his men. He knows more than he's letting on. What do you think, Marquez? Anything to say? Yeah. Only that you and your men are all gonna die. I'm gonna take great pleasure in every moment of it. Let's move. You think my men are gonna let you take me? Like that? Of course not. That's why I'm gonna kill all of them. We'll see. Marquez will pay for what he did to you. I was fascinated by this man when I first met him years ago. I was fascinated about the passion that he fought for the things he believed in. That missile, it's not why they kidnapped you, is it? He wanted me to create an airborne virus. The missile was just a delivery system. I told them I'd rather die. The problem was, they wouldn't let me. Hadelman, Sarah, Angelus, Captain Stakely Marquez. They have a history, don't they? Yeah, you could say that. That's well, why we couldn't get a signal. Too damn low. Yeah, well, it's going to even up eventually. Where? Where's Potter? Oh, you're joking. Who had eyes on him last? Damn it. Potter, sound off! Can't talk, remember? Oh, that's just great. Stakely, you got some outfit out here, eh? You know, something in this jungle's haunting us. We gotta keep moving. We can't turn back. He knows the mission. Let's move. On the radio. Where are you going? I'm gonna go try and find a signal. Sir, be careful. It's our only radio. Zero. This is Halo 6 Actual. Come in. Over. Mates Q, this is Captain John Stakely. 
Operations Detachment, Commander. This is Team 607, coming over. Signal up there, boss. Round up the team, do it quickly and do it quietly. Trouble? We're not alone. Rico Flores. Double back and find out what's on that tail. And do it quietly. Yes, sir. about this place. What did you see up there that got you so spooked, boss? I don't know. Be more vague, please. <sighs> Something was stalking me from the trees, watching me. A panther? They're indigenous to this area. Didn't look like no cat to me, more like a reptile. A little lizard spooked you, boss? And that's not all the water. It didn't seem right, didn't taste right. Smelled different, burned my skin. I have a theory, but you're not gonna like it. Lady, I already don't like it. But I gotta hear it. A few years ago, paleontologists found a massive crater in the heart of the Amazon, over 60 miles in diameter. Come on, Doc. How could something that big go unnoticed for so long? It was so overgrown, you couldn't see it from the sky. No way. When you consider there are over a million square miles of unexplored rainforest in South America, it's not really that hard to believe. The point is, the crater wasn't the real discovery. It was the creatures living inside, trapped there for nearly 50 million years, cut off from the rest of the world. An entirely closed off ecosystem. The plants were different, even the water. So you're saying we're in some kind of ancient, uncharted crater? Yeah. The Lost World. Like the movie? Like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Look, it's a book about these people who go on this expedition to South America, and they find this plateau where dinosaurs still exist. So it's like the movie, then? I doubt we need to worry about actual dinosaurs. But there are dangers. I think we've only scratched the surface of what we've discovered here. That's all well and good. How do we get out of here? This could go on for 100 miles in every direction. We take the stream. What stream? The stream was flowing west. So we go back, we find it. It's got to have an outlet someplace, right? Yeah. Makes sense. In theory. Good, we'll get some rest in. We leave here in single file. Anything moves, shoot it. I hate the jungle. something? Straight ahead, six or seven meters. Do you think that's what got Potter? I think it wants to get us.
Whatever we're hunting, there's more than one of them. I don't think we're the ones doing the hunting. Stay with the girl. You two follow me. Not again. Not again. Keep it together, Sergeant. Half the squad's dead. I think it's an appropriate time to start panicking, Chief. What do you make of it? What's our next move? I think we go hunting. It's like the jungle just swallowed him. Scramble predators find him. Sir. Time's almost up, Colonel. Stakely and his team will make contact. You just stay true to your word, don't jump the gun, and my men will come home alive. I hope so. For your sake as well as theirs. I don't know, there's something not right about this place. Haven't felt right since we got here. What the hell was that? That's not possible. Hey, Doc. What was that about not bumping into dinosaurs? A theory? Consider it a bad theory. See any of these things in your little crater in Brazil? Hey, boss. What? Am I seeing things? There's someone down there feeding the dinosaurs. Give me that. Is it Potter? Don't look like him. Right here. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go have a chat. Good morning. Got a second? Stop. 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 
Come on, get your stuff chopped up. You're coming with me. Start up. I said you're coming with me. No. Go away. Boss, what's going on down there? Zane, you, you could have killed it. That was the idea. That creature is the only reason you're alive. Come on, come on. Get off. Okay, quick. Look at this. I don't like this. Triceratops. It's, it's mainly protecting its young. It's incredible. Uh, no, that is incredible. Boss is in trouble. Take this. You're gonna need this. Sarge, come with me. Chase. Not get us out of here. Move. Don't, don't shoot them. Don't move. Move. We ain't got time for this. We need to go. Follow me. Where's Marquez? I don't know. Sir. Like that. From my father. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Watch your step. Huh? Oh, down here, down this way. <laughs> Welcome, just right, right through here. I didn't have time to clean up. Watch out for piranhas. <laughs> no, not really. We're safe here. place you live here yeah well, roughly five years uh, but I'm a busy man so I may have lost a year or two somewhere You're telling me you've been living here alone in this cave for over five years not alone never alone never alone I made some good friends here actually a couple enemies including including that bad one up there who's this Hands up, hands up. Yeah. This was, this was my friend and associate, Mr. Driscoll. 
We discovered the crater together, he and I, and unfortunately he died the day we got here. You never found a way out? Well, I, I attempted. I tried to find a super way out for a long, long time, and then I found this cave, <laughs> and it keeps me safe from everything out there, and it's the only fresh water source available in the area. So I embraced my destiny, and now this is where I'm meant to be. That's where I'm meant to be. So who are you? <clears throat> professor Malcolm Roxton. Hi. Just a former professor of comparative anatomy and evolutionary biology. It's an honor, sir. I've read all of your papers on phylogenetic systematics. Your discoveries are fascinating. Oh, thank you. You understand why it's a blessing to be here. I know more about prehistoric biology than any human on Earth right now. I'm sure you've been through a lot, Professor. <clears throat> However, we have a few questions about the place that we need answered. Well, class, <laughs> those are dinosaurs with over 65 million years of evolutionary adaptation and natural selection under their belts. So it's exactly as I thought, Captain. We're in a crater where the ecosystem has been completely cut off. But if nothing can get out, then... A plus! <laughs> so you're saying we can't get out of here? I said I stopped looking. I didn't say there wasn't a way. I spent the better part of a decade mapping out this fraction of the crater. Right here. So what's our position? Here. We were going to follow the stream to find an exit. It's not a terrible plan, per se, but you're going to run into a little problem. What kind of problem? Well, the river runs down and ends up right here. Death Valley. Death Valley. Name quite literally, actually. You don't want to go to Death Valley. Why? What's so big and bad down there? Another T-Rex. <laughs> it's much worse. Much worse. Much worse. But it is the way out, right? Yeah. Almost certainly. Good. So that's the way we take. If we run into any problems, we shoot our way out. This place is certainly the last ecosystem on Earth that has been untouched by man. I'm not... I'm not going to sit around and watch you destroy it. Let's just shoot this nutter, boss, and get out of here. It's not the way we do things around here, Sergeant. Professor, I will take your pets into consideration. However, if they put my men in arms way, I will chop them down. You understand? Can't really argue with that rationale. at our differences. And I know I've said thank you before, but honestly, I don't think I can thank you enough for giving me my life back. Well, that's yet to be seen. So what's the story between you, Marquez? Well, it's very simple. Marquez is a sadistic dictator. He has no conscience, no remorse. He would kill half his country to rule the other half. But I guess you found that out already. My job was simple. Flush him out, take him down. But it turned out to be anything but simple. After two years of always being one step behind him, marketing started getting really out of hand. He started killing his own people. First the men, then the women, and then the children. 
Every new village I turned up in, I'd find a dead child. Then two, then three. My failure was costing too many lives. So basically, this is my last chance to bring him to justice. If I fail this time, I'm off the mission. Marcus gets away scot free. You can't let him get away. Chief, you need to lead the mission. I'm not leaving here without Marquez. Even if Marquez is out there, you may never find him. And if you do, what then? I'll get the professor to lead me to Death Valley, just like you guys. I don't plan living here for the next 15 years like a crazy kid. Just let us help you. There's no reason for us to split up. Complete the task and secure the girl. You go off mission, you risk a court martial. Let him try. It's an order. He's not right in the head. Funny coming from a guy who lives with dinosaurs. Is it just me, or does this seem like a bad place to be walking? He's right. If we run into anything I hear, we don't have no flank protection. Gentlemen, ladies, if you want to get out of here, these canyons are the only way. Yeah, uh, we shouldn't run anything too large out here, not till we get to Death Valley. How far? Oh, you'll know. Trust me. A knife. Teach you a little bit of honor, huh? Like the boss find Marquez. More like something found them.
saved my life, Marquez. But nothing changes. But for a moment. Gift for you, Marquez. <laughs> you need me? Oh, no, I'm just looking out for my men. I'll deal with you later. Professor, how far we got? We're on the right path. Yeah, you sure? Because it feels like we're walking in circles. Trust me, Captain, I'd like to get you out of here as soon as possible. You don't belong here. You see, before you got here, this place was harmonious. Pure. You are chaos. OK? Your presence here only means death and destruction for these wondrous creatures. Oh, the wondrous creatures that are trying to turn me and my men into a buffet. Well, maybe, maybe they deserve to die. You know, you got a real sense of humor, Professor. Hey, what do you think you're going? Uh, bathroom, if your captain will allow it. Chop on, Professor. There's something amazing about this place. With enough funding and the right equipment, who knows what we could learn? You gotta be kidding me. This place has an incredible evolutionary advantage. And it's as if we've traveled back in time. What? It's a metaphor. It's definitely not a metaphor. None of us will experience anything like this ever again. Yeah, we'll be dead. I hear that. Think about it rationally. Sure, it can be deadly, but this crater is the discovery of a lifetime. We're in a place that no one else has laid eyes on ever before. Except that crazy professor. Yeah, except for him. And where is he? Professor! Do you hear that? Stand two. I said, shut up! I'll tell you what happened. I lost another good man to one of your harmless dinosaurs. Well, to be fair, this is their land and we are the trespassers. Oh, yeah? You speak one more time. 
I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. Mm. I'm sorry for your loss. I, I am. But this crater, this, this, this lost world, this, this may be the last bastion on Earth for creatures to exist like this. And I'm just trying to protect it. You're not coming with us, are you? No, miss, I'm not. You're not serious. This is ridiculous. That outside world, it's a, it's your home. I don't belong there anymore, I'm, my home is here. But, Malcolm, you could return with fresh supplies, equipment, assistance. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hey. What are you laughing at? You. You capitalists believe the entire world belongs to you. That you are entitled to everything that you see. It's disgusting. This man is trying to protect his home from you, from your governments, from your corporations. He knows that this place will never be the same if the world finds out about it. So tell me what is the crime in protecting one's home? Not only I don't blame him, I respect him. Come on, boss. I'm not taking morality lessons from this crazy teacher and baby killer. Give me the map. <clears throat> Excuse me? Give me the map. You knew about the Triceratops. This man's leading us to die. What do you say I waste him right here, right now? Death Valley. You tell me it's the only way out of here, right? I told you the truth, Captain. If you want out, it's that way. Come on, boss. We don't need him. We got the map. Shh. He's coming with us. You're joking, right? Maybe we can find some use for you yet. Lads, get the gear. We're moving out. Thanks for that. For what? For giving them someone else to hate more than me. Fuck. Huh? I think the ballet's just over the, those rocks. Yeah, but it'll be getting dark soon. Don't you think we should just shut it down? Can I have some water? Can I have some water? You think that ugly ass rhino followed us? Not a chance. That ugly ass rhino has a brain the size of a tennis ball, so he's most likely forgot about us when we left the valley. It's the velociraptors. <laughs> those, those you gotta watch for. They've probably been tracking you ever since you arrived. That's just great. However, they usually only attack when they're in a significant advantage in numbers, so you're safe. You don't have anything to worry about at the moment. Judging by the way Stigley's been handling things lately, I think we should be quite worried. You're not see question now, we just keep moving on. Let's go. Okay, let's go over. Welcome to Death Valley. Oh, damn. The professor wasn't kidding.
Dead of ammo, Chief. Yeah, well, we've got half a dozen grenades, some flashbangs, nine or ten mags, max. That ain't gonna be enough. You're forgetting something. Bringing along the RPG is starting to look like a pretty sweet idea. But how's this valley gonna lead us out of here? Even if we make it past the dinosaurs, what then? If I could make it up the cliff, we could probably get a signal to dispatch. If and probably, two words I love to hear during a debriefing. It's just a matter of fighting off these dinosaurs. I'm not running out of ammo. Uh, Captain, boss, sir, you, you said you were not going to hurt them. I promised you out the window when you got my sergeant killed, Professor. OK, so you're saying that you want to blaze a trail from here to there? and hope for the best. That's the plan. OK. OK. That's it. I can't be a part of this massacre. This goes against everything I worked for. So I bid all of you a goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. I assure you, Professor, you're with me till the end. Once we clear Death Valley, you're welcome to go back to the sanctuary of your little cave, Professor. Until then, it's welcome to the wall. These creatures are the most deadliest predators on the face of the planet in the last 65 million years. So how do you expect to survive that? Tank, a little help from modern warfare. Time's up. Stakely's still alive, I know it. For his sake, I hope not. This is Grimaldi. Order the strike. Glass that jungle now. Cover! Chief, this is over there, radio for help. You, give me your weapon. What? All of them, your weapon, now. And the pistol. Tank. You might need it. Now move! What's he doing? Save it our asses! Sir! I've got them. They just resurfaced on radar. You hear that, Grimaldi? 
They're alive. Call off the strike. I'm sorry, Colonel. It's too late. No. It's not too late. Pick up the phone right now and call it off. <laughs> oh, you are really edging for that court martial, aren't you, Colonel? Pick up the phone and call off the strike. Do it! Make the call! Fine. You want to play this little game? We'll play your game. This is Grimaldi. Belay that order. I repeat, call off the strike. When this is over, Colonel, you are finished. Got a location on him yet? Affirmative. Great. Let's send out a chopper and bring my boys home safe. Yes, sir. They got the girl out. It doesn't matter if they got her out. My mission right now is to get my team home. They're all expendable, Colonel. We all are. Get off my base. Now! Dick. Six Actual, this is Zero HQ. Chopper is in room. It's hot in here. I read you. Over. You really think that you were going to get out of here? <laughs> Come on, ladies. After me. Come on, come on. That's not the gun, Chief. I hate your stick. Let's go, come on. Don't. 